Sorry guys, I've been crazy busy. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, but I've owed you this for quite some time. We're going to talk about the time the United States used an F-15 to shoot down a satellite. To understand why we would do something like this, you first have to understand that the United States is the land where can I do this meets hold my beer and watch this shit. This is an ASM-135 ASAT, designed by LTV Aerospace in 1984. It is 2,600 pounds, 18 feet long, and is 20 inches in diameter. It has a maximum range of 403 miles and a maximum elevation of 350 miles off the Earth's surface. Look, I don't work for NASA, so I have no idea where space actually starts, but I'm assuming 350 miles off the Earth's surface is pretty fucking high. It has a maximum achievable speed of Mach 12, for all you Russia fanboys. But what about hypersonics? The red, white, and blue has been fucking with hypersonics since your dad was born. You're welcome. Now to carry such a massive payload, you needed something with a little bit of beans up underneath the hood. That's why they picked the F-15 Eagle, which to this day still has one of the highest thrust-to-weight ratios of any fighter aircraft that's ever been designed. It's like the combat aircraft embodiment of you Miata guys. Um, excuse me, why do you need 1,300 horsepower in a car that only weighs 1,000 pounds? Because America. I'm not sure if other countries have Miata guys, but I'm relatively certain that they're not trying to put big block 454s underneath the hood of them like we do in the States. Well, so why do we need to shoot down a satellite with an F-15? Aside from America being the most petty country that has ever existed, I have no doubt in my mind that if some other country flew to the moon and knocked down our flag, before they got off of that rock, we would have another ship on the way to go put it back up. And then just leave like a battalion of marines there, because they'd be okay with it. Well, during this time, there happened to be something going on called the Cold War. And Russia had been boasting that they had put satellites in orbit that could destroy other satellites. So we wanted to put missiles in orbit that could destroy their satellites. We later found out when they collapsed that this was not true and that we were actually in violation of a treaty we had signed with them about space weaponry. But we can still do things like this to this day, so fuck your treaty. Anyways, the first two shots in 1984, they actually didn't target satellites. They targeted stars, and then they sent this missile up to an undisclosed location somewhere in the exosphere and blew it up. Yeah, that's true. The United States was targeting stars with missiles fired off of an F-15. God, I love this country. But in 1985, a mission dubbed Celestial Eagle, where an F-15 flown by Wilbert D. Pearson, I think I got that name, where he flew his F-15 to 38 kilofeet. Yes, I definitely just turned a metric measurement imperial. He then targeted and engaged a Sol Wind spectrometer satellite that was no longer in use, and the ASAT went to 320 miles off the Earth's surface and engaged and destroyed the satellite. The satellite was moving at 17,000 miles an hour, the ASAT was moving at 11,000 miles an hour. So naturally, they both disintegrated. So this will go down as the only time any country has ever shot down a satellite with a fighter aircraft. Remember, if you like what I do, please support Merch Link in bio.